You have just entered the new Ember server. Now stop right there. You've just been put into an OP new Diva Rengoku combo. Will you A, be able to survive with your life, or B, get one tapped and end up face down in the dirt? If you chose B, you were correct. It is just a skill gap. Please consider blocking and dodging next time. I can persevere, go forward on my own. There's a bright and shining pearl light Come through the darkness of the night Now I can't help crying for my life In this endless time that I live inside Take a closer look as you Wog Wom people of today, it's me Shiver Away and I'm joined with my dog Takamaru to teach you guys how to get Diva Rengoku the fastest way because let me just say this is probably the best bloodline in the entire game objectively right now so you definitely want it. Before we do that, you know if you're watching you might as well like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now with that said, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so to actually get this bloodline, what you have to do is boom. So you press L and then you click main mission, scroll all the way to the bottom and you will see fight diva. And then now from there you click and you teleport and then basically it's gonna take you to the destroyed ember where you can actually fight the diva boss. And so obviously it's just like with the event, but this time you can actually, uh, you have the chance of him dropping his bloodline. So yeah, that, that is going to be, um, it's a lot better now. So I'm, I'm gonna show you guys how you can kill this guy pretty fast so you guys can get the bloodline. So there is the cutscene guys, you've all seen it. Um, I'm actually using my, uh, <laughs> actually using his bloodline right now, which is, you know, kind of uh, ironic. But anyway, they actually really nerfed his health. Like look at this, There's, he does not do as much health or as, as much damage anymore and he has a lot less health. So I'm just gonna use these moves, just keep spamming on him. He actually, wait, he's using the old, um, um, the old version of his attack. So that's kind of a, uh, it's kind of weird, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just skip ahead. Okay guys, so we just about have him dead here, so the way that we actually did this is, what we did is, so if you didn't know that he actually can't be stunned, so there's really no point in having stun moves, so the best way to do this is to just uh, do it with pure damage, which we have uh, been doing. I'm gonna heal up right here, he's almost dead, and uh, I'm using Diva uh, Rengoku, because obviously it does a lot of damage, but if you're watching this video, you probably don't have it, so, you know, that, that that's not much help but anyway let me um use this right here he's almost dead uh let me do this okay let me do this boom and there we go so now it is done and as you can see we we didn't get it this time we only got the uh companion but I, I, it's still not too bad just a few more of that only took us like 10 minutes if you guys just do that over and over again and you can definitely get it within a day so you know it, it's pretty easy <laughs> how do we get it okay guys so now that i've actually showed you guys how you um how you get it now i'm gonna show you guys what it can do and this is why i say it is the best bloodline in the game so very first thing you need to notice is that this is probably the coolest looking one and it kind of fits my um uh, my, my color so i like that as well it's a bit purplish blue but you know it's still nice but anyway so look the m1s that is like that is one of the most damaging m1 strings as well it's very op just like the barium mode or the tentagon or the other you know god bloodline modes but there's something else that you guys need to look out. So the very first move I'm gonna show you guys right now is the Gravity Havoc. So this one, you use it, it basically pulls people into you and then pushes them away and deals heavy damage and the multi hits and can damage stack. So a very solid first move. Then the Rengoku Meteor Burst, one of my favorite moves. Basically, you know, it's a very quick hand signs, boom, you call down Meteor on someone. I believe that block breaks as well. And then the last move that it has is actually, this is basically like almighty push on steroids. You actually jump up and then boom, just this world shall no pain. And you, <laughs> it does a lot of damage and it will also block break at close range. So it's definitely very good as well. 
So what we have next is, uh, well the Q spec is basically almighty pull and I'll show you that on some uh, actual players in just a bit. And then we also have the, the C spec which is probably the best move in the entire kit, but both like utility wise and actually visually. So if I show you that right now, Boom, so you throw up the ball and then it will pull everyone in such a wide radius and they're just stuck in there for so long. You can damage stack them while they're in there, shoot something at them. It's really OP. You can create some of the most annoying combos in the entire game. And of course, because the sea spec, it's not on global cooldown. So it's definitely very nice. Like this bloodline is insane. If you do not have this bloodline, you need to get it ASAP or you're actually just not even gonna be able to compete in arena x or anything like that like boom just look at this look at the aoe on all of these and um they don't even have that it doesn't have that long of hand signs at all and this one is just insta cast so it's definitely very nice and plus you just have a free combo extending q spec like bang like that is very nice chakra consumption not too bad either this bloodline is definitely top tier fits my dog too almighty pull thing that we have going on over here if i use this right now boom you pull them you slam them down you can m1 them this is the best <laughs> mode in the entire game so you can see you can just spam everything use them they have like no hand signs too does lots of damage a lot of it block breaks as well it's definitely very good so let me use this boom yeah it, it is actually very nice like it is super cool so guys that is going to be it for this video and as you can see the bloodline is really really cool like i actually really like it like, i just always have to um, mold up like if you stack this with the ultra instinct one i think it actually looks like look at this effect like it's like they were made to go together like it just looks really cool but any whoa i'm so fast but, but anyway, that is, um, the, this bloodline is definitely very nice. And I actually talked to the creators of the game. They said that they're going to make a lot more of the OP bloodlines. They're going to make those, uh, you get them from bosses. So expect a lot more of that. Like the events that will be coming soon. You will have to, um, defeat bosses to get these bloodlines. Honestly, I'm actually really happy that you can't just spin for this because first of all, I know a lot of you are exploiters. Okay. Don't, don't think we don't know that. But second of all i think it's just a lot this like something like this something i can just do with this like it it, it deserves to to be very very rare so I, I think it's quite fitting now as well the last thing i wanted to say is a lot of you know this as like a shindo channel and maybe i'm not uploading um shindo uh, as much shindo content as i did before but you know i've wanted to branch out but at the end of the day i am always going to be a rel games youtuber you know that i will always be playing their games mainly because i just find them the most fun so of course i'll still be uploading shindo content but i don't want to be like every other shindo youtuber you know the showcases and all that stuff is fine but i like making original content so you know i make shindo videos when i think it's actually something cool that you guys would like to see and i hope that you guys can appreciate that as well so with that i'll end off the video i'll see you guys in the next one